Beachgoers can expect a new Briscoe King Dune walkover and pavilion in the near future. This is after some funds were allocated to the county for the upgrade. Our Ashley Gonzalez joins us now in studio with more. Hey, Ashley. Hey there, Leslie. More than $100,000 will go toward making the walkover more accessible for everyone. Local leaders say the sound dunes out there are just too high for the current walkover. So this money will help with the design for a new one. Over the years, the, the dunes have built up and now they're overtaking it. And so we need to practice what we preach when we ask people to do dune walkovers. We need to be the same compliance as we ask others. Cross says there are a few more boxes to check off before any groundwork begins. Design, engineering, procurement, permitting. This beach goer is from out of town. From El Paso, Texas. Despite the distance, he comes down here pretty often. To be honest with you, y'all got some of the prettiest beaches. I like coming down here because Texas has a lot to offer. I think people don't really get that sometimes. So I come down to Corpus to catch some of them waves, catch some of them rays. When he's enjoying the beach, he parks near the Briscoe King Dune walkover. So what is convenient for me personally is when I know where this walkway is, I can find my way to my vehicle like nobody's business. I just need to find this walkway. It guides me right through. There's some parking spaces right there on the other side. The new walkover will be in compliance with current beach and dune rules. Cross says funds will also go toward the pavilion attached to the walkover. There's a point at to which there's only so much more you can do to this building. And at a certain point, you got to say, you know what? We're better off to just start with a clean slate. Because it's not just the beach that brings folks to this space. For family reunions, meetings, banquets, weddings, air conditioning, small caterers kitchen, you know, and does that, is that still a one story? Could it be two stories? Cross says he hopes construction will start within a year. Leslie, back over to you.